There is an eerie denial in our society concerning what Burkhurst reveals about our young. Moreover, the youngster's disability is not confined to their generation. People who were born before them and grew up reading to one degree or another have lost, from near total immersion in electronic media, the aptitude for critical reading with deep concentration. What good are books of knowledge or books exposing tyrants and conspiracies if the attention span of the modern public is so truncated by spectacular electronic media that it can no longer give books any sustained in-depth consideration? As part of the deterioration, Burkert cites a general impatience with sustained inquiry. We can't endure anything that is too profound. It must first be pre-digested and packaged in segments and dispensed through computer monitors and television screens in bright pulsating dollops. One does not acquire learning by such means, but rather the illusion of learning. The act of sustained contemplation of the printed page has become a chore when it is performed at all. As the author of the Gutenberg Elegies remarks, next to the new technologies, the scheme of things represented by print and the snail-paced linearity of reading act looks stodgy and dull. The new technologies feature rapid jump-cut increments. Tagline communication called Bite Speak is destroying the last remnants of political discourse. Simple linguistic prefab is now the norm, while ambiguity, paradox, irony, subtlety, and wit are fast disappearing. Never so much utterance, so much flow, and never before so little sense of connection or mattering. Secret Societies and Psychological Warfare by Michael A. Hoffman II. Hello and welcome to another edition of the Stench of Truth. I would like to talk on a couple of issues, but the major point uh, I want to make is concerning uh, the apparent uh, censorship on YouTube and uh, the use of bots. Um, most notably, uh, the ability for people to pay for um, ratings and uh, to pay for uh, views and that sort of thing with some, um, some entrepreneurs uh, getting into the business of doing this. Um, and the ability to affect massive change on people's channels. Uh, and from watching some of my fellow uh, YouTubers' uh, videos, uh, some who are subscribers of mine and that I am subscribers of, and seeing their channels either being suspended or attacked with these vote bots, um, leads me to ask several questions. Uh, first of all is to wonder how uh, YouTube and um, or how, to, how YouTube is dealing with this and overall how Google as YouTube's uh, owner is uh, trying to uh, deal with this. Um, if they're trying to deal with it at all or if they're complicit with it. Now it seems to me with YouTube's uh, renewed emphasis on uh, trying to go more uh, um, quote-unquote mainstream with uh, the addition of movies and uh, other things that we've all seen videos about and, and talks about in the news over the last couple of weeks. One has to wonder if uh, this may be a concerted effort on the part of YouTube and or Google to uh, try to delegitimize uh, um, whole segments of the YouTube user population in order to make them leave to get them to want to leave so they do not have to come uh, come across as the fucking corporate hoodlums that they are by just shutting them the fuck out. So it may be a concerted effort on their part to have these vote bots and proxy agents attack channels in this manner in an effort to have those people say, fuck it, I ain't going to deal with this fucking YouTube no more because look at this shit that I got to deal with. 
So they leave on their own. They may have a couple castigating comments for the fucking YouTube community and for Google and for all of the other shit that is going on behind the scenes. But once they're gone, they're gone. Their videos are gone. Their voice is fucking gone. And they don't have to, that is YouTube, doesn't have to uh, bear the brunt of scrutiny for having taken a policy of actively removing these fuckers from their um, channel from uh, YouTube itself. So, uh, one could see that as a scenario. The other thing is that I'm not one to uh, gainsay someone's entrepreneurial spirit. And I say if there's a group that wants to put together something that will enable people to get uh, you know, their channel views up and their ratings up, I think that's great. Uh, I mean, uh, if that's something you want to do, you know, that's someone who's trying to make a buck. Okay? The problem I have is if people are using this technique and targeting other people, if you want to use this to artificially inflate your view counts and artificially inflate your ratings, then fucking do it. I got no problem with it at all. And I got no problem with the company fucking doing it. But if there's someone out there, anybody, no matter who it is, targeting individuals or groups for things that they don't like, and trying to get their ratings way down and trying to get their views disabled or, or tampering with their fucking channels, that I have a fucking problem with because that is a direct violation of my fucking freedom of speech. So, you want to be an entrepreneur and have some kind of way to make some money out of YouTube? God bless you. Do it. But you know what? You better make fucking sure that the person who's buying your fucking time, your views, and your ratings, and everything else is doing it on their own fucking shit. Because you have no fucking right to attack anybody else's material. And from what I've seen looking into this, there have been attacks against religious people, for people who have certain uh, religious beliefs, uh, against atheists, and against people who have... Uh, who have uh, controversial or conspiracy related material. And sometimes it's against people who don't really fall into any type of category. Just people who are trying to get the truth out. And that could be on many different fronts. So, YouTube and Google need to take a stand not in trying to stop people from making a buck off of this. If they want to have some way that they can, you know, get views up for somebody who wants to artificially inflate their fucking counts, let them do it. But you know what? Limit it to people who are doing it to their own fucking videos. Okay? And if YouTube and or Google is deliberately trying to attack channels in a piecemeal way to force people off of YouTube, rather than taking a direct approach and just saying, you know what, you fucking independents are all fucking out of here because we are now corporate fucking shills. And all we're going to have on YouTube and Google is stuff that's going to make us fucking money. It's going to be corporate mass fucking media. YouTube, if that is what your fucking goal is, then have the fucking balls to come out and say it. Say it and tell us. We don't want your conspiracy shit. We don't want your alternative points of view on our channel anymore. We want to throw out the same fucking bullshit that you get on every other fucking media venue that's available to everybody. We want to eliminate your fucking individual voice. If that's what you want to do, don't play this behind the fucking scenes bullshit. Just come out and say it. Have the fucking balls to do it. Because it certainly seems like that is what you are doing. And if that's not your fucking intention, then you better do something to try to address the fucking problem. And look into these fucking suspensions, look into these ratings, and look into these tampering with channels. And do something about stopping it. Because if you don't, you're complicit. Or you're fucking behind it. Thank you. Good day.